The secretary is Dr. Oke. It is indeed a great honor and privilege that I stand before you today as the chairman of the IMO Campaign Council for the upcoming governorship election in Imo State. I would like to use this opportunity to extend our sincere apology for the delay in convening this inaugural meeting three weeks ago <coughs> after our official inauguration. I would like to also use this opportunity to express our gratitude to the leadership of our great party, the PDP, for entrusting, entrusting each and every member of this council with the honorous responsibility of service and delivering the candidate of our party during the governorship election in Imo State come November 11, 20. 23. It is evident that the party has placed its trust on us to make sure we deliver on this outcome. We must acknowledge this and therefore work tirelessly to uphold it and ensure victory at the polls. It is an immense privilege and a testament to our shared commitment to the democracy and progress of our great party and the people. I also want to extend my appreciation to all the members of this council who have accepted the task at hand. Your dedication and commitment to this assignment it is indeed commendable. I believe that our collective knowledge and experience will contribute to our success. Allow me to reiterate the objective and goal of this council, which is to secure victory in the Imo governorship election on November 11, 20. 23. This particular election is crucial as it will determine the future of Imo State. The upcoming state Imo State governorship election is a familiar situation where the incumbent governor of Imo State seek a second time while our candidate will run as an opposition candidate. This presents us with a challenge that we must confront head on with focus and determination while upholding the principle of fairness, transparency, and adherence to the rule of law. Under my leadership and that of my fellow governors, we pledge our unwavering commitment to, live, to make sure we deliver on this mandate. We are aware of the challenges ahead, but together we will overcome them. Our success will be measured not just a victory at the polls, but also by the positive impact we make on the lives of the people of Imo State. And to accomplish our shared goals of victory, we have set up seven subcommittees, each with specific focus, dedicated chairman, and members. Your knowledge, expertise, and dedication will be instrumental in ensuring successful campaign and communicating our party's vision to the people of Imo State. As we back on this journey together, let us always remember that values and underscore our causes. Our aim is not simply to win an election, but rather bring genuine change to the lives of people 
we serve. We must demonstrate integrity, unity, and a clear vision that resonates with the aspiration of and expectation of the people of Imo State. Furthermore, I call each one of you to lead by example. We must conduct our campaign in a manner that reflects the value and principle of our great party, the PDP. Let us be mindful of the languages we use, the statement we put forward, the promises we make, and the actions we take. Our credibility depends on our ability to be honest, accountable, and transparent in all our endeavors. Be rest assured that we have carefully considered various strategies and tactics to ensure our success come November by the grace of God. Be rest assured that we have carefully considered various strategies and some collaborative effort utilizing the strength of each subcommittee to maximize our impact. Finally, let us not lose sight of the ultimate goal, the betterment of the lives of the people of Imo State. Our campaign should focus on the issues that matters most to them, which is security, number one, education, healthcare, infrastructure, and job creation, among others. We must present our ideas and solutions in a manner that resonates with their daily realities and aspirations by ensuring that a message speaks directly to their hearts and mind. Distinguished members, I have complete faith in your abilities to fulfill these responsibilities entrusted on each of you. Let us work together tirelessly, rallying behind our party's candidate and embrace the sack at hand with unwavering determination. Together, we will chart a path towards a better Imo state and a stronger Nigeria. Our success will not only be measured by victory at the polls, but also by the positive impact we make in the life of people we represent. I would like to thank each and every one of you once again for your commitment to this council's mission. Together, we will overcome. As I was saying, let us all come together and put all our strategies in place to make sure we secure victory come November 2023 in Imo State by delivering our one and only candidate as governor of Imo State by the grace of God. To the glory of God and for the betterment of the people of Imo State, in particular Nigeria in general, it is my honor and privilege to formally integrate the PDP Imo State Campaign Council today. Victory is certainly yours by the grace of Allah. Thank you very much for listening and together we will welcome you all to this campaign council which is really focused on Imo State.
even though I'm not a resident of Abuja, but I'm welcoming you to this meeting in Abuja on behalf of Imo Party. That is the standpoint. And I want to thank all members of the Campaign Council for taking on this responsibility to champion the cause of PDP and the cause of all of us citizens of Imo State in accepting the responsibility to serve on this onerous task. It is a tough task. So on behalf of Imo PDP, I want to thank you for accepting and taking the, the gruntlet to go and tackle APC who had usurped the PDP state because Imo is a PDP state. Unfortunately, we fell into the hands of APC. Now, this committee is being set up to go forward with all authority, with all support, and all effort to win back Imo State for our party. It's a tough task, and I want to thank all of you, members of the committee, for electing, for accepting to go to do this job, which is a tough one. So I want to encourage uh, our candidate also. You can see the support base, the Nigerians, the PDP, National Party, are standing for you and supporting you and encouraging you to go forward. This is a good Philip to all of us to make sure that we win that election. I would like to thank also Imo State citizens, Imo State PDP members who have taken the costs and difficulties and inconvenience of coming here to Abuja to, for the launch of this campaign, cam campaign council. And um, I appreciate the sacrifice you have all made. Chairman, I plead with you. I'm glad you have the energy, the stamina to take on this onerous task. And I appeal to you, please, to stay firm. I'm delighted to note your determination, your words of encouragement and commitment which you have shown here. It is, for us, very enlivening to, to get this. We are looking forward to you coming to Imo and probably launching the main campaign on the ground for us to go forward. On behalf of Imo Party, I want to assure you that we are looking forward to receiving you in Imo, to working shoulder to shoulder with you in Imo, and to making sure that you safely come to Imo and do the assignment you need to do on behalf of National PDP. So please um, do not in any way feel faint. Um, I encourage you, we are there to support you and work with you closely. We are well organized up to the grassroots level at the polling units, and we will mobilize this to handle the elections as we go forward. So I want to thank you sincerely, and also encourage members of the NWC to please continue to work towards uniting the party, strengthening the party, and making sure that we go forward and do this assignment and accomplish the victory. Thank you very much, everybody. I didn't think twice to choose you. And the reason why my choice of choosing you is just for two reasons. One, you came out from one of the war zones, removing an incumbent. So I chose you to tap to tap that anointing. Of removing an incumbent. So that's one. Two, you are very young and energetic, just like I am. So I know that two of us in this political battle, we are going to bring back the old glory of PDP in the states. As I since my emergence, we were trying to put things together. You know, it is not easy. 
what somebody emerged as a candidate, just like you, one issue or the other. But our party, under the chairmanship of our party chairman, Jajasuku, set up a reconciliation committee headed by a very known uh, honorable body, Epili, who has taught almost everywhere, met everybody, including members of the National Green Committee, to bring peace and reconcile everybody in our party, those who are reconcilable. You know, you know, in, a, in this party, it's not everybody that wants to agree, but you have to keep moving. And we keep moving to continue to reconcile, but without being distracted. We have to understand what local government in the most states. And when they emerged, we embark on a thank you talk. We have taught the whole, out of 27, we have done 24 local governments. Remaining three, which will conclude by Wednesday next week. We have gone to the remote place, just like you said last time when I was discussing with you. The places the city governor cannot even go. We have gone there and come back. This election is not about me and the incumbent, it's about Imo people, Imo state, and the city governor. The reason is because. Imo is traditionally a PDP state. What happened in the last three years was an operation. PDP won the election and was taken away from the Supreme Court. So we know that PDP, in every look at cranny of Imo state, is PDP. PDP is an organic party that has its fabrics amongst the people. So, and I know this time, the incumbent governor that we're going to that will hand over to me by January 15. We know ourselves. We are together in the Senate. There is nothing that he knows that I don't know double. That's the truth. Even election may not be about money, but it's about the willingness of the people to change the time because. Imo has suffered in the last three years. I'm sure most people, if you ask them to come to Imo, if you remember, in last this year, February, when we were supposed to do the rally in Imo, there was a lot of issues that are killing security-wise, security-wise. But I can tell you, any day you have selected for the flag of our party, of our campaign in Imo, nothing will happen, by God's grace. We are there on ground. I assure you that. There have been a lot of intimidation. One of our campaign council chairman, like I said, his hotel was bulldozed down some, some few days back. But we're not going to be worried. It has it happened in Zamfara. You will never compare. No billboard, no nothing when you were running. But today you are here. So if they like, let them bulldoze all the houses I have anymore. I, I have this determination to bring back Imo to PDP. The reason is this, and I want you to know this commitment. As the National Secretary of this party, Southeast is the heart of PDP. We just have only one state, Enugu, and are doing everything possible to take it away from us. But God is on our side. So if we don't bring back PDP into Imo state, for the future of election in this country, we just have shown that that be a problem for PDP. So we have this determination. We must do everything possible to win in most states. And I believe that God will be on our side and we're going to deliver. I'm not just ready to be a governor, but I'm ready, according to what I have just said, to set up a place for good governance in the most states. Imo is lacking good governance. And I can assure you, I will not let our party down when elected, and by God's grace, we'll do everything to confine ourselves with the tenets of good campaigning. But if they come with any campaign, we'll follow them the way they come. Because this business, no retreat, no surrender, until success is achieved. Thank you very much, and God bless you. And you feel the trouble in Imbo. For us from the National working committee 
and the leadership of the party, what we are saying to you, go back, recover Emo for PDP. Re recover Emo for PDP and have peace. The campaign is not about food, it's not about roads, it's about being alive. And I think that should be the messaging in this campaign. Emo state now from in the eyes of the world is that you can't even go there. That's a community that believes in community, in, in family. And today, people cannot bury their own dead. The connection, the cultural linkages between the communities in Igbo land, particularly in Igbo state, has been destroyed. And we have a governor who moves around with armor tank among these people. Our candidate has just said something. Out of these 27 local governments, He's been to 24. He's been to the den of the criminals. But because he's a man accepted by the people, he can, they can hear him. They can feel him. I was in Imo State within one evening, and we went to some other place to have campaign. And in the conversation, a man said something which resonated with me. He said, go we are with you. You know us and we know you. When a people say to a leader that we know you and you know us, it means he can connect with them. Samuel Anyaun connects with the people. He's humble, he's on the street, he's a gentleman, he's right on the street, he takes call, people can speak to him, he can touch them, they can feel him. He's not an imperial, governor when he gets to the government house. So the Igbo people should go. We have charged you on. The leader of this campaign, the conqueror of Zamfara, when he got into Zamfara, you saw the whole madness and all the insecurity had come down, statistically. Because there's, he's bringing hope. He's brought hope that people can feel in Zamfara. And with the feeling we're getting, from Imo State. Anyaun, practically, sir, his name means son. And you saw that rendition. It was, the son has come. Let brightness come into the community. So that is the son in Imo State. Take charge. Go forward. Let's win it. We are going to be here. We are going to support you all the way. We've been there personally. We have set up a special committee to ensure that we have the best brain within the party. Shekun show me, these are veteran people get crazy when they get on TV. We will take those craziness into TV, into Imo State, and we will deliver it from the madness of the APC. Nigerians have a statement. Let's start telling Nigeria that this is not who we are. By winning Imo State, by winning Kogi State, by winning Bayesa. So that Nigerians can know that indeed the PDP is People's Party and we believe in the people. So we want to urge you, we want to thank you for accepting. The governor has set the pace. He said, we are ready, we are committed. Let's charge on. God bless you all and as we win Imos 8 in November 2023. Thank you. And we are still taking... Your Excellency, Imo is in their need of help. And the only help we are asking for is now. Because if the help did not come, I wonder how Imo will be in a few years to come. Because in my state, Your Excellency, in 2020, when the government of uh, APC took over, 2020 January, when they took over, if you tell the people from the zone of all where I come from, that by 2021, 2022, that no, nobody will be living in that zone. They will not believe. But as I speak to you, Your Excellency, in Olo, which is the mini capital of Olu zone, and three other local governments in that area, I want to tell you that you cannot find any young man above 18 years, or even below 16. You can only see old men and women between 70 and 80 years. 
because those ones, they are not looking for them. And there is no building in Olo that has a tenant anymore. This is a mini capital of those our brothers. Some of them don't have money. They can't travel. Their London is Olo. Their America is Olo. Their Lagos is Olo. Their Abuja is Olo. But they have nowhere again to go. The same thing. They fed this insecurity in Nemo State and exported this security to Kigwezon. Then, as I speak to you now, there are over 17 communities in Okiwe that the indigenous has all run away. They don't live there anymore. Yes, Elisi. If it can happen to our law people, and now in Okiwe, there is no guarantee that it, it will not happen in nowhere. So I want to tell you, Nigerians, to please help. We need to recover our state. It's no longer about anybody. It's about the five million Imolites who can no longer sleep with their two eyes closed. Everybody is afraid. Nothing is working. Business has died. We need help. And as God will have it, PDP gave us the candidate that everyone is yearning for. The man who is accessible to every person. The man a organizer in the street who will fall and he will pick his call. The man that loves his people, Senator Samuel Nemekanyangu, with him, Imo will be back to PDP. Thank you, and I want to appreciate all of us. Let us go back home, do the work, and victory will be ours in Jesus' name.